Hi everyone! Thank you so much for joining me in today's unboxing. I filmed this video last week as soon as I received my package in the mail. I'll be sharing you the concern I have with this purchase along with a comparison with my YSL Mini Look camera bag and of course the project that I would like to do with this purchase. Now before we begin, to my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified for any upcoming videos. Uploading videos do vary each week and with that, I do luxury unboxings, reviews, comparisons, and so much more. Okay, let's get to it. If you follow me in my Instagram account, you probably have seen this item. Still, I would like to unbox this item and share it with all of you. I had been eyeing on this specific item for quite some time now, but I just couldn't decide which color I would go for. With all the price increases that can happen at any time, I decided to just get this very common but classic shade that is very well accepted to most of us. Any guess what item this might be and the color I decided to get? Let's find out! Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's from the Small Letter Goods 21S collection, if that information is helpful enough for you. Okay, here she is. My very first Chanel Classic Medium Cosmetic Case in Black Caviar Leather with Light Gold Hardware. Okay, let's check her out more up close. The two most important factors that I usually inspect are symmetry and any obvious defects following with the authenticity card matching with the hologram sticker inside my items. How about you? What are the major factors that are important to you when inspecting your items? Let me know in the comments below as I'm very curious if you also check the same. Okay, let's check inside. Here's the authenticity card. We are now in the 31 series. As mentioned earlier, I always check that the serial numbers from the authenticity card are matching with its tag. This classic cosmetic case is from the 21S collection. If I'm not mistaken, this is my fourth item from the 21S collection. Okay, let's remove this paper so we can check further inside. Mine is made in Italy. I love this burgundy lining as it reminds me of the black classic flaps with the burgundy leather interior. It's truly a classic look, don't you think? Not only that I love the burgundy lining of this classic cosmetic pouch or case, but I also love the fact that there's one large slip compartment on one side and two small compartments along with the lipstick holder on the opposite side similar to that of the classic flap handbags. The other feature that I love about this cosmetic case are the sides. It has barriers high enough to prevent items from falling out. Now, the important question for the day, is it worth purchasing a cosmetic case? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below whether it's worth it or not worth having this small letter goods item in everyone's collection. For those who don't find this item worth keeping, I will share with you my plan with this beauty as this might change your mind later on. But I would like to grab more of your attention regarding the main concern I have with this cosmetic case. First, let's examine the dimensions of my cosmetic case. From the website, the height is 5.5 inches, the base length is 8.1 inches, and the width is 3.1 inches. Now let's take a look at mine. Yes, your eyes are not lying. It's half inch short indeed. Hmm, would this be enough to get it exchanged or returned? Or could it be that their website's information needs to be updated? I'm not sure if I should notify my essay about this matter, but let's check the rest. 
I would give the width measurement as a B plus grade for barely, but I wouldn't be concerned about it. What do you think? Last but not least, the height is A-OK -okay for me. However, I'm still a bit bothered of how their website shows that it should be 8.1 inches for the base length, but it's not even close to 8 inches or 7.5 inches if that. What would you do? Would you be notifying your essay regarding this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We have a special guest in today's video. I would like to compare my YSL Mini Look crossbody camera bag with my Chanel Medium Classic cosmetic case. In this way, you can visualize their size differences even more. But first, let's take a closer look of its grandeur beauty. This camera bag has an external back pocket. I must admit that the chevron style makes this handbag look more stylishly fashionable, don't you agree? I previously did a comparison video of this handbag mainly for its capacity of how much it can hold with my Louis Vuitton Noue pouch. I will link that video in the description below for you to watch later on. Now going back with the comparison of these two, it's obviously fair to say that the Chanel Classic case has more depth to it than that of the YSL Mini Look camera bag. The base length is almost identical. And lastly, Chanel Cosmetic case is a tad bit taller than that of my YSL camera bag. Now, why did I purchase this Chanel Medium Cosmetic case, you may ask? Yes, I do have a project that I would like to experiment on with this cosmetic case. That's right, I will be transforming her into a cross body bag similar to my YSL camera bag. I will be filming from the start till the end of this project and will be glad to share a video of its transformation. At the moment, I have not decided the exact outcome that I want. However, I was considering purchasing grommets so I can easily place any chain that I want. I'm also thinking of adding pearls onto the chain. Nothing is finalized as of yet with the plan I have in mind, but I will certainly transform her into a handbag. Wish me luck and I hope I won't ruin the leather as that would be really, really devastating. Anyhow, that is it for now. Thanks once again for tuning in today's video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye!